Hey guys, Hawks21 here, and welcome to my brand new Splinterlands channel. I think right now is the perfect time for new players to be joining the game. Chaos Legion is upon us, and card prices are extremely low. With that in mind, I thought I'd kick off my channel with a beginner's guide series. Um, it's going to be multiple episodes, basically taking you from zero to whatever level you want to get to. It's a lot of the information that I wish I had when I was first starting. So I'm hoping I can help you guys skip a couple steps. Um, if you find anything helpful or useful in this video, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It'd mean a lot early on for your support. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Thanks, guys. So the leveling system in Splinterlands is one of the more complicated yet important things to understand about the game. So that's where we're going to start. Um, it's a three-tiered leveling system, and I would think of it like a chain. So the top of the chain is your league. So I'm in gold. We'll get more into leagues later, but for now, just know that each league has a maximum level of summoner you're allowed to play. So each league, maximum level of summoner. And then, based on your level of summoner that you have, you can play specific levels of monster cards. So you can see the chain. Summoner caps from the leaks, and then the level of your summoner determines the level of your monster. We're gonna start by taking a look at a summoner. I'm gonna go to the cards tab and then pull up Kelia Freud, the Chaos Legion um, water summoner, who's one of my favorites. The plus one speed, plus one shield is nasty. So we're gonna go to the stats tab, and this explains the level of monster that Kelia can play based on his own level that you have him at. So if you have Kelia at a level two, which requires five cards, and I'll show you exactly how to level up cards in the last part of the video. But for now, if you have a level two Kelia, just know that you can play level three common, level two epic, sorry, level two rare, level two epic, and level one legendary monsters. And why does the level of monsters matter? Well, if we stay in the water splinter and just look at the flying squid, you can see that at level one, he has two attack, three speed, eight health. But then look what happens when he gets to level three, which is what you can play if you have a level two Kelia. He picks up a third attack. So if you're playing with a level one Kelia and a level one flying squid, you're gonna be a disadvantage of someone who has both of those cards leveled up to the appropriate amount and they'll have one more attack than you. So again, this part, it's level of summoner determines the level of monster that you're allowed to play. And the higher levels that monsters get, generally the more powerful they become. So they either get more attack, they get faster, they get more health. And then sometimes on given levels, they pick up some of these new abilities, which you can see down here on the card. All right, so in part one of the video, we covered how the level of your summoner determines the maximum level of monster you're allowed to play. But there's another limiting factor in that three-tiered system I mentioned earlier, which is the league that you're in. So if you come up here to the top right and hit details on the league page, it'll bring this up, which shows you every single league. Um, assuming you just started, you'll most likely be in bronze. There is a novice league, but once you win a couple games, they'll move you up and you can start earning some rewards. So there's a lot of information on this page. I wouldn't worry about any of this top part for now. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cover all of this in a future video. For now, we're gonna focus down here on the summoner level limits. So again, you're limited by the amount, the level of monster you can play based on your level of summoner. But then you're also limited on the level of summoner you can play based on the league that you're in. So if you have, if you're in bronze and you have a you know level four Kelia and a level six flying squid and you try to play them, you can play them, but they're gonna act based on the maximum level the league allows. So again, if you had a level four Kelia, who is a rare summoner, and a level, let's say six flying squid, and you go to play them at bronze, Kelia is gonna act like a level two summoner, because that's the maximum, and the flying squid is gonna act like a level three common, because that is the maximum that of his card that can be played at that level. Um, so this is important to understand because it's going to help you strategize sort of what cards you want to level up because, you know, some card might be really good at a high level, 
But if you're planning on playing at bronze for a while and you're limited by these levels, there's really no point in you leveling that card up until you plan on moving into the higher leagues. So we covered a lot about card levels and summoner levels today. So I figured I'd end episode one by showing you what it actually looks like to level up a card. So I'm gonna go back to the card page um, and I'm really excited to level this guy up. Um, he's brand new, he just came out. He was a Chaos Legion airdrop card and I just got enough to get him to level three, which is the max I can play at gold right now. So this is what the card screen looks like. Um, as you can see, I currently own a level two. What BCX means is basically like unit of card. So as you can see, I own three individual level ones, which are one BCX. And then I have one level two, which is three BCX. And you can see here what you need to get to the next level um, to again, unlock either an attack, speed, health, or some sort of new ability. This guy's gonna unlock healing um, once I get him to level three. And I'll show you that right now. Um, so I'm going to, actually, I'll just show you this first. So if I combine these two ones, right, you see two cards, I hit combine. There's going to be a pop-up right here that basically says I'm combining these two cards into one at level one with one out of two required to go to level two. You can't undo this. Are you sure? Yes, I am. So it takes a second. But once this is done, you will see that I now have this new card down here. That's a level one with two BCX and one required um, to go to the next level. So then I'm gonna just combine these just to show you. Um, I hit combine again and again, level two with zero out of three towards level three. This cannot be undone, yes. So I could have just highlighted all of them at once and hit combine and would have skipped this process, but I sort of just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, but finally, so I'm gonna do these two and you can see three BCX needed is zero out of three for both of these. So when I combine, I'm going to get a level three with zero out of five towards level four. I hit okay. And watch this down here. So right now it has these three abilities. Once this is done, you'll see that it picks up a fourth. So now, yep, Eric, it picked up healing. It also picked up another health. Um, so that was a huge upgrade for me. So healing, he'll now be able to, when he takes damage, heal himself when it's his turn. All right, so that concludes episode one of my Splinterlands Beginner's Guide series. Just wanted to quickly summarize two of the main points we went over today. The first is that your level of summoner determines your max level of playable monster. And second, the league you're in determines your max level of playable summoner. I know we talked a lot about levels and a lot of numbers and stuff is thrown around, but honestly, the more that you keep playing the game, um, you'll start to realize, oh, I'm in bronze. That means I can only use a level two Kelia, which means I can play my level three flying squid. Uh, the more and more you play, the more second nature it'll start to become. Finally, just wanted to say thank you. Obviously my first video on the channel. So love the support. Um, episode two will be coming soon. So if you learned something, um, you know, stay tuned for that. And if you could like and subscribe, it's a quick and easy way to support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, have a good one.